How can you get the replay mod in Minecraft 1.21? Let's jump into it. First things first, go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is our in-depth text guide on getting the replay mod, but you can also get to the download page from here by clicking the download replay mod button. That will take you to the replay mod's official download page where you want to find the Minecraft 1.21 version here. Come over and click download. While this is downloading, home notes from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server and truly customize the server any way that you want. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Now, as you can see, we do need to keep or save this file. It's 100% safe to keep or save replay mod. Now, we also need to get the fabric mod loader. This is the basically mod loader that actually allows Minecraft to have the replay mod in it. It kind of sits in between the mod in Minecraft. It's of course linked in the description down below with an in-depth guide on getting fabric. We're going to go over the basics in this video though. Go ahead and click on the download fabric button to go to fabric's official download page where you want to click on this little download universal jar link. Not download for Windows. Click download universal jar. Once you do, it'll ask you if you want to save the file, which we want to do. And the last thing we need to download is actually the fabric API. This is a API library mod that basically the replay mod requires to work in Minecraft 1.21. So in the description down below, Below, there's a link to get the Fabric API. Once you're here, click Download Fabric, and it will take you to the Fabric API's official download page. Here, click Files, and then find the 1.21 version of Fabric API. It's right up here at the top for me, but you can also filter by game version if you want. Click the three dots on the right hand side, click download, and now the download will begin after a few seconds. Just like the rest of the stuff, we will need to keep or save this, and now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. What we want to do is move all the files we downloaded to our desktop. For me, they're going to be in my downloads folder, so we can go there and drag and drop them right like so. Now what we want to do is actually start off by installing Fabric. Not the Fabric API, Fabric. It'll be called Fabric Installer, right like so. Go ahead and right click on this, click on Open With, click Java and click OK. But what if you don't have Java here? Or you do and it doesn't work. You click OK, it doesn't work. Well, that's because either one of those, you need Java 21. Java 21 is brand new for Minecraft 1.21, meaning if you've had Java in the past, it won't work now because you need Java 21. Or if you don't have Java at all, you can get Java 21 and you'll be good to go. After you get Java, you may need to run the jar fix. What this is going to do is take all the jar files like the fabric installer and replay mod and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. But first, download Java, then run the jar fix. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and open up the Fabric Installer, right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That'll open up the Fabric Installer right like so, where you want to make sure 1.21 is selected. If as long as it is, go ahead and click Install here, and now Fabric will install. Just make sure Minecraft and the Minecraft Launcher are closed, and that you've played Minecraft 1.21 before. Just open it to the main menu, and close out of it, then you'll be able to install Fabric if it doesn't work. Go ahead and click OK, and we can close out of the Fabric Installer, and actually delete Fabric from our desktop. Now, let's install the Replay Mod. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft Launcher here, and in the Minecraft Launcher, we want to go ahead and click installations up at the top. So as you can see here, we have installations. Click on that, and then in here, make sure modded is checked. If modded is not checked, this won't work. There it is, modded is checked. We have fabric. Now, if you don't have fabric loader 1.21 here, create a new installation. You can name it anything you want. I'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com because that's the easiest way to play modded Minecraft with your friends or vanilla Minecraft or play Minecraft with your friends in general. Then go ahead and click the versions drop down here and find the release fabric loader 1.21. Right here it is for me. You can also search for fabric if uh, you can't find it. So you can search for fabric and there it is. Now I'm going to set my resolution just so you can see better once we get in game. And now let's install Fabric API, and most importantly, the replay mod. To do that, you want to find your Fabric installation, either one that you created or the one that was there by default. Hover over it, click the folder icon, and that will open up your Minecraft folder. Now in here, you should have a mods folder. But if for whatever reason you don't, like I don't have one here, go ahead and create a new folder. So right click, new folder, and title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that, and open it. Now drag and drop the replay mod and the Fabric API into your mods folder, right like so. It's that easy to install the replay mod. Now, if we play Minecraft, making sure we're playing with our fabric installation, it will be installed and working. Now, with that being said, you can't export videos as of right now using the replay mod. You go in here, you can create a video, you can edit a video, but if you tried to export it at this moment, it's gonna give you an error saying, Install FFmpeg. Let me show you what I mean. So I quickly just went in game and made a replay file, and we have this button here, the replay viewer. 
any time you're creating a replay in Minecraft, and by default, you'll just immediately start recording whenever you join a world or a server, it will create a replay in here. And we can go in here and actually do quite a bit of cool stuff. I'm not great at actually using the replay mod. Uh, this is not what this guide's about. It's showing you how to get it and how to export videos with it, not how to use the mod. I'm not that great at creating these. So in the description down below, we do have a link to this, which is the entire replay mod basically wiki, if you will. It goes over everything about creating and recording and all of that stuff and how everything works here. So that is worth checking out in the description down below as well. If you want to know how to actually use the replay mod and create really good replays, one thing I do know is we need to do two keyframes. So we'll do a keyframe here, and then we will swing around here and do a keyframe, right like so. And then we will go ahead and do time keyframes as well. So we'll do a time keyframe here and a time keyframe here. So there we have it. Now, if we want to go ahead and save this, we can render this right like so and go ahead and render, except it's not going to let us. To render a video, you need to have FFmpeg installed. How do we do that? Well, let me go ahead and exit this replay here, and it will save the stuff that you've done, all of that, which is pretty cool. And now we need to download the FFmpeg, and yes, you will need to close Minecraft. So in order to install FFmpeg, go to the description down below, again, to this, which is the replay mod documentation. Then scroll down and click Installing FFmpeg. Then find Windows. Download the latest FFmpeg relay release from here. So go ahead and click on this link here. And as soon as you do, FFmpeg will prompt to download. It's safe to download as long as FFmpeg is in the title, which it is. And now what we want to do is minimize our browser and move FFmpeg from your downloads folder to your desktop. It's not going to live there forever, just temporarily. And now open up the Minecraft launcher. Then in the Minecraft launcher, what we want to do is actually go back to that Minecraft folder the same way that we did before. So let's go ahead here and go to installations up here at the top and find that release fabric loader, hover over it and click that folder. Now drag and drop FFmpeg from your desktop into your Minecraft folder here. Then once you finally got this FFmpeg file you downloaded here, right click on it, click on extract all and click extract. And once that's done, you're done with getting FFmpeg. We can now play Minecraft using our Fabric installation, and now we'll be able to create and export those videos with the Replay mod. If you're wondering where your videos go and your replays are stored, it's actually stored here in this .minecraft folder that we just added FFmpeg to and extracted it. So if we come in here, I'll be able to see we have Replay Recordings, replay videos and once we export our video it will actually go here to replay videos so let's go ahead and do that we'll open up that replay that we just were in and now if we go to render it we will actually well be able to do that so we can come in here click render and then we can go ahead and render and when we do it's going to render right like so you can show previews but it might cause performance issues and stuff like that and i'm recording so i'm not going to do that but once it's finished i will show you exactly what it looks like. The render is finishing up as you can see, and you can go ahead and open the video folder here, but this is that replay videos. So if we come here into our .minecraft folder, replay videos, there's the replay we just created, and we can watch it here. It's all kind of in slow motion because again, I am not the best at creating these and don't understand how the timing works and all that, but it is kind of a cool heroic sort of panoramic style shot which is uh, pretty cool. So there you have it. That's how you can get the replay mod in Minecraft 1.21. Let us know if you have any questions in the comment section down below, and we'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.